Okay, guys, hi. I am here with another story. In this lesson, we are talking about the public transport, how to travel, how to buy tickets, how to stop the bus, uh, what to say, how to pay. But I want to tell you what to do and what not to do on the public transport when you travel around Britain or Europe or the United States of America. So rule number one, always think about other people. Always check if the people around are comfortable. Don't shout, don't laugh out loud, don't giggle <laughs> all the time. Just try to occupy as little place as possible. If it is a rush hour when there are very many people, try to be small, try to respect other people around you. Rule number two, never read any um, um, newspaper or a book that the person near you is reading. Uh, I remember when I traveled with a group of students from Ukraine to London because from time to time we organize a group and go to London. Uh, when I traveled with a group, uh, one gentleman, British guy, he was sitting and reading a newspaper on the bus. And the guy from my group, he was standing over his shoulder and he was looking over the shoulder of this British guy. He was reading uh, the newspaper together with this guy. And um, after th some time, the British guy looked up, folded the newspaper and gave it to uh, the guy from my group. And he said, here, take it. I don't need it anymore. And our uh, person from my group, he was so happy. He said, wow, these British people, these English people are so polite. Wow, great. They uh, really think about other people. Uh, this guy gave me his newspaper. And I said, oh my God. Uh, please uh, say I am sorry to this man because it's very, very bad manners to read over the shoulder. Come on, you don't have a pound or two to buy a newspaper? Okay, take it. It's not a very nice uh, thing to do and never ever check the telephone of your neighbor because it's privacy private territory around the person. No, it's, it's no, no. And uh, rule number three is try to be polite. If you want to open the door, close the door, open the window, close the window, turn on the light or switch off the light, always, always ask fellow passengers about it. Because I remember one story which happened to me about 10 or 12 years ago, but I remember it even now. And I always tell this story to my students. I was traveling from London to Edinburgh. Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland. Listen to my pronunciation, Edinburgh. So I was traveling from uh, London to Edinburgh by a fast intercity train and uh, this train has two classes. The second class, there are rows of seats and an aisle between them. And the first class, uh, the first class is separated into compartments for six people with comfortable soft armchairs. So I was traveling by the first class uh, and there was me, a British lady, some British lady, she was around 50, a middle-aged British lady. Opposite me, there was a, some British gentleman. He was a real gentleman. He had a beautiful suit, a hat, and a big umbrella. 
and he was sitting, he was reading something, and the door slid open, slide, slid, slid, and two young girls, maybe 18 or 20, came in, and these girls were speaking Russian. I don't know if they were Russian or Ukrainian or Belarusian, I don't know, I don't want to tag uh, people, то есть вешать бирки, ярлыки. I don't want to tag people. I don't care uh, if these people were from Russia, from Ukraine, from Moldova. It doesn't matter. Russia is uh, all people who lived on the territory of ex-Soviet Union. So these girls, they came in and they were very loud. They started laughing, ah ha ha, and giggling, hee hee hee, and talking very loudly and discussing something. And this uh, man and a woman, a lady and a gentleman, they exchanged these looks, but they said nothing. And to tell you the truth, I had this poker face because I didn't uh, want to uh, associate with these girls because they were rude. And so I was sitting, I was reading something and the window was open. It was August or the beginning of September. It was not cold, but it was not hot. English people need air. It's very important for them. If you travel with English people, you will see the windows will be open in the houses, on the trains, in the compartments, or in the cabins or staterooms, uh, on the cruise liner, so they need uh, fresh air. So the window was opened. Uh, open. The girls one of the girls got up and closed the window. Uh, these people, these British people were shocked because it's rude, it's bad manners. Um, okay, the lady got up, the middle-aged British lady got up and opened the window again. Really, she showed the girl to her place, but these girls, they were young, they didn't understand it. The girl giggled, how oh, these больные британцы, she said, she got up and op uh, closed the window shut again. And the lady got up, opened the window, looked at these girls and said, do you mind? Which is very, very rude. Um, she didn't say anything bad. She didn't use four-letter words, F-U-C-K or S-H-I-T, that's dirty language. She didn't use any dirty language. She just said, do you mind? Не возражаете? If you uh, communicate with British people, if you are in one room with them, if you want to open the window, close the window, anything, you have to say, do you mind if I close the window? Do you mind if I open the window? Do you mind if I smoke? If it's in a company of people. But do you mind? It's something like, I am the boss here and you do as I say. And uh, these girls, uh, they stopped laughing and the British guy who was sitting next to them got up and demonstratively he changed his seat and sat near me and this British lady to show uh, the girls that he didn't want to sit with them the girls understood it. Um, they understood that uh, they did something wrong. They got up, took their things and left and they never came back. And when the doors uh, closed, slid closed uh, behind the girls, when they left, the man looked at them and said, Russians. Again, I don't want to talk about nationalities or countries. No, I want to talk about the reputation. My dear friends, uh, please 
be polite, be considerate, то есть внимательный. Think about the other people and if they are comfortable sitting around you, being around you. This is very important. This is called tolerance. This is real tact. Think about the other people around you. Blend in. Станьте частью. Blend into European society. Thank you, my dear friends, for your attention. Bye-bye.